So right now I'm filming with my Panasonic GH5. That's the camera I use in all my videos. And right now I'm using my 10 through 20 millimeter Sigma wide angle lens that used to be for my Canon fit the uh, Rebel series, so the crop sensors. I have a cheap lens adapter from Amazon on there, but I'm about to put on my brand new Panasonic Leica DG Sumalux 12 millimeter f1.4 wide angle lens and I already opened it <laughs> you know I couldn't help myself all right boom it's on autofocus is on too something I wasn't able to use when I was shooting with this lens because you know no electronics could bypass the uh, cheap lens adapter you know what let's get out of here let's go to like a darker area of the house i want to go to the basement and test out how this lens performs in the low light because a huge reason i got this lens is because it's going to perform better in the low light than this lens and like other things for this camera because of the f 1.4 which means it's going to let in more light so let's go test it out right now let's go to the basement we'll maybe do a comparison with this sucker you better focus man or you are in trouble so why did the audio change i took the mic off why did i do that i don't know this lens, one downside is it doesn't have any optical image stabilization, but it is wide, so hopefully it will compensate for it, and hopefully the GH5's in-body stabilization is good enough. It's supposed to be, so I'm not too worried. Um, honestly, looking at the screen right now, it actually looks really stable. I'm actually very impressed. I'm shaking like a mofo. I'm just holding this with one hand, no gimbal. Look at this. I'm just holding it like this. A lot of you guys, um, if you guys have the GH5, you gotta turn the e-stabilization on, it makes a huge difference. It's absolutely wonderful for vlogging. All right guys, now we're gonna do um, a low light test and compare it to the old lens. All right. All right, so this is the old lens. This is my Sigma wide angle, 10 through 20. And uh, testing it out. As you can see, it's stable as well because all the stabilization is happening inside the GH5 but we'll see if there's any difference. It's pretty dark down here. I would never film um, in an environment this dark unless I had to, so hopefully it's focusing. All right, so it's totally dark. Dark going in the background, man. So just from looking at it on the screen here, it's looking pretty crispy. Crispy AF to crispy autofocus. What do you think I meant? All right, so uh, I guess it's gonna just take it with me to the park, do some tricks, see how it performs with flips. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But, you know, just because a lot of you subscribers are subscribed to me for, you know, flips. New shoes. <laughs> Alrighty. So now I'm just headed back. I'm gonna do the 
1,000 stair challenge. What the heck am I talking about? Stay tuned. All right, but first, quick stop at Kroger. I'm actually gonna get my wife an Easter gift. <laughs> Cheesy, going really vlog style, really testing this out, doing something vlogging. All right, got it. Yeah. All right guys, so we are back. So after putting the footage on the computer, blowing it up to full screen and reviewing it, I can see some significant differences between the old lens and the new lens that's now on the camera. Um, especially in that low light condition. I mean, the old lens, it was it's just so grainy and um, I had auto on everything on the camera so to try to expose my face, the camera was just bumping up so much gain and um, Honestly, the footage just turned to pretty much poo. Now with the new lens, you can see a little bit of gain in some dark, dark regions, but for the most part, I am looking pretty crispy. So I am pretty happy. Also just taking it with me, that nice like deep focal length with the f1.4 just made it look very like cinematic, a very nice cinematic vlog look. I really like that. Um, also at the park, just my tricking footage, Everything was looking really sharp. I think that's something about this lens that's great is it's really sharp. Um, this old one, it was sharp like in the middle, but to the sides, things got cloudy and kind of like dusty looking. All right, so the pros, super sharp lens, great aperture, good in low light, makes your GH5 perform way better in low light. I don't know how it does with the other Panasonic Micro Four Thirds or Olympus cameras, but it's doing great with this. Build quality is very nice, weatherproof, it's like full metal pretty much. It's nice and kind of has that nice heavy quality feel to it. And just overall a good lens, looks good on the camera. The cons, cons with this lens, I'm still debating whether to keep it or not because of the super steep price. I mean like literally, this is, this is an extremely expensive lens. Most lenses are around like $400 and that's pretty expensive, you know, that's ridiculous. Because it's like, geez, you know, but this lens is three times that price, and that's just ridiculous. It's like you get to a certain point with quality right now, but when you go up by just a little schmidge, the price just goes up exponentially, which is, you know, that's just how it is. So uh, just not gonna eat for a month, all right? But honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it because I just, I don't know, now that I see how sharp it is and everything, I just, I don't know if I can, I can film without it now. Gosh, you know, that's how they get you. Yeah, that's definitely a con. The other con is, uh, no optical image stabilization so there's no image stabilization in the lens but like i showed you guys i mean it seems pretty dang stable especially when you have e-stabilization turned on in the gh5 so one question you guys might be having is what lens was i filming with before um basically the wide angle lens with the lens adapter and then also i've been filming with this one so it's a 42.5 millimeter lens for the panasonic it's a f1.7 basically uh the skits as of October have been filmed with this lens right here. Pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate. All my outdoor tutorials as of October 2017 have been filmed with this lens right here. So this is, I mean, I'm still gonna definitely use this because it just gives you that nice like, but yeah, so when it comes to making vlogs, when it comes to making videos where I need more of a wide angle or just uh, tutorials up close, inside, yada, yada, yada. I got this. I also got this lens because I wanted to do more five minute tutorials for Only Kinds of Fitness. And when I filmed a couple of wide shots when I wanted to go from standing to, you know, like push ups or something with this guy, on the inside it was just, you know, like the example here, it was just fuzzy and wasn't sharp and just, it just did not do good in even medium to low light. Um, but this one seems like it's gonna do great and it's gonna be sharp. So I really do like that. Hopefully more five minute uh, workout videos come in within the next couple weeks and I'm gonna start that back up again. So yeah, I'm gonna use between these two lenses right here, my 42.5 millimeter and now my 12 millimeter wide angle. With that being said guys, thanks so much for watching. I have a question for you guys. Um, I did film a, uh, an inside the house flip tutorial recently. Not uh, like, oh, like a week ago, you know, with the old one, how to Webster inside. And I've just been kind of scared to upload it. I mean, my form's kind of not the best on most of my flips, but I mean, this one was like really bad. If 
for some reason I'm just extremely scared of you know these lollipop 12 year olds who are gonna just absolutely destroy me in the comment section so so just let me know if you guys still want to see the Webster on the inside of the house tutorial and if you do I will upload that maybe I should just go record another example right now I don't know <laughs> you gotta focus man anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching more videos to come don't forget to subscribe I hope you guys enjoy this uh, tech uh, camera review type deal right here now that you guys know what I'm using to film all my videos and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. You all have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all.